I'm in Williamstown, Kentucky, and we're here to explore Noah's Ark. Many of us have heard the story of Noah, some even at childhood. According to ancient texts, God told Noah to build an ark to save his family and many animals from a great flood that would destroy all mankind. In a rural American town located in the hills of northern Kentucky, someone has built a full-scale replica of Noah's Ark to the dimensions specified in the book of Genesis. Whether you believe the story or not, I invite you to come along with me and be one of the first to explore this massive and unique piece of art. The ark itself is 510 feet long and 85 feet wide. Uh, it's approximations here, but that's about one and a half times the length of a, say, of an NFL football field, and about half as wide as the football field. It's about seven stories in height. The bow of the ark, which is also called the front, the bow and the front, the same thing. That's uh, 104 feet up in the air, which is about 10 stories. This is the largest timber frame structure in the world. Inside you'll see uh, about 3.3 million board feet of timber used in its construction. All right, this is like a little gift shop area. Actually, it's a pretty good sized gift shop area. And you could tell, like, it just seems like they put this stuff out yesterday. It still smells like fresh paint in here. It's where you pick up pictures and things like that. You want a stuffed animal, Ethan? Yeah. What's your name? My name is Joe. Joe, nice to meet you. Omar. Omar. Gosh, TV. Hey. Uh, we're exploring the art together. You see my videos? Oh my goodness. You see my videos? Oh my goodness. I finally met a real YouTuber. How do you know I'm a YouTuber? Oh my gosh, I know you. Yeah. You and that, uh, what's it called? You go and dumpster diving and stuff like that. Alright, look, uh, I just had this camera on. He comes up behind me. He's like, what are you I, doing? I knew you looked so familiar. I knew yeah. you looked so familiar. What's going on, man? Oh my gosh. What do you think? What do you think of the art so far? Love it. Love yeah. it. Me too. Yeah. I really like how they included all the sound effects in here. I was told that there are animals in here too. There's not real animals inside these like wooden cages or anything, but it kind of gives you this realistic feeling like what it might have been to be on this ark with the whole like wind noise and, and the water and I don't know, it's, it's really cool. I almost feel like I'm in a boat and it's moving. I'm almost getting seasick. Oh. God. Um, you know, there's really not a whole ton of people here yet. I, I don't think everyone knows that this place exists yet. So, you know, hey, if you're, whether you're like an atheist or a believer, or whatever the case, come check this place out. It's really cool. If the Ark did exist, this is probably as close to an Ark that you will get based on how it was created in the Bible. I did see screws. I'm not sure if screws existed back then, but I'm sure they had to build this place a certain way for safety reasons, but still maintain the height, the width, the length, and 
some other exact measurements, you know? Yes, they have this interactive tool here where you can ask Noah some questions digitally. That's pretty cool. What was the world like before the flood? Ah, good question. When I was a young boy, much of the world was beautiful. And many people still love and serve the Creator. But the, the generations that followed grew extremely corrupt and violent. The world became such a dreadful place. Uh, come here, give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. In this room we have kind of like a collection of all sorts of Noah's Ark books. Oh, it was probably kind of hard to get a lot of these books together. Uh, some of them look rather old. It took me a moment to understand what was going on in that room, but it wasn't just like books from the story of Noah. A lot of it was kind of tailored around the whole idea that people have taken the story of Noah and turned it into this child fairy tale when it was actually, you know, a real story, a part of history. Well, I was talking to the gentleman up at the front there, and he said this is his favorite exhibit because it has all the old ancient Bibles. Like, look, this is, this is from the 1600s. And that is written in, it says German? No, it's German paper, but I think that's Hebrew, I'm not sure. It looks like a few different languages. Here they have an old Torah scroll. I'm not sure the age of it. It could be a replica also. 1,156 and that's Greek. Oh, it's amazing that they have that piece of history here in the Ark. Would actually explain this glass case though. Alright, these doors right here are kind of like an example of what the doors might have looked like. The main doors that were shut by God during the time when the flood was getting ready to come and all the animals were in I mean, they're massive. I mean, my, my daughter's about five, 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 six. So, yeah. Pretty sure that's tall enough to get any animal in here. Now we're going up to the third deck right now. There's three total. I don't want to spoil it and show you too much because then you won't come and visit, you know? The floor that I just came from right now is just like, you know, animals. It has little exhibits here and there kind of showing you what it might have been like during those times, what they probably did to get rid of waste on the ship, how they fed the animals, just some logical explanation to a lot of people's questions. Said that the Bible was used for racism at one time. No, it was. Like people used to misuse the Bible oh, yeah. for for racism. Not that it was used for, but they misused it. You know, that's what it says right there. We're all created equal. Right. We're all made in God's image. That's Noah's son. And his wife. I would take this room in a heartbeat. Like, I really like. I like that. That's that's pretty awesome. Well, I'm sure they put away a lot of food for their little ride. Uh, this is it's kind of what it could have looked like. They probably had some stuff that they were growing on the side too, just like this. Oh, this place is really new still. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot more things added to 
maybe more attractions. They are doing a 40 days, 40 nights. I'm thinking it's maybe till midnight because the place is open till midnight. Uh, you can see here to to my left, there's a little restaurant. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot more. You can get like hot dogs and hamburgers, things like that. There's a lot of land here. I mean, you could see all that land probably belongs to this this place out here in, in Kentucky. Well, the only place I haven't seen yet is the petting zoo. And I'm gonna show that to you right now. There's some animals over here. Not sure why they didn't have animals inside the ark, but then again, I'm sure it's for safety reasons and animals do, do stink. You sort of have to have them outside, sort of like how they have them out here. But what's, what's Noah's ark without animals? Real animals, you know? So here's the real animals. That one's snoring. Is it? Where? Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> Is <it> snoring? <laughs> it just feels weird. Oh, his hair feels so weird. Oh, yeah. I don't take you home with me. Man, I wish I had hair like you. This goat right here just tried to eat my camera. This is my 360 camera. And by the way, I am making a 360 version of this video. It's, you know, just got some extra elements for you to explore. If you want to see what we just seen right now. It's, it's tasty, huh? There has been quite a bit of hate connected to the newly constructed Ark primarily because of the money used to build it and the tax breaks it got from the government. Many have said it to be a waste of money and will become vacant within a short time. I would love to hear your thoughts on the Ark, whether it's negative or positive, and if you would ever consider seeing it for yourself.